Hey guys and welcome to today's video. I'm going to be doing a Trader Joe's fall haul because it's that time of year when all the grocery stores stock up on all things pumpkin. I honestly never get super into it except for this year. I don't know if it's because I'm like away from home so I'm just needing like the comfort of pumpkin. Why am I talking with my hands so much? I don't know. Um, but yeah, I went to Trader Joe's yesterday and I got this cute bag. Mainly because I got too much stuff and the New York bags will break if you try to overfill them. And that's not good for the walk home. I thought I'd show you what I picked up. Some fall related, some are just regular groceries. I've also been thinking about doing like a my usual Trader Joe's and then Whole Foods grocery, like a blog post. So if you guys would be interested, give this video a thumbs up or comment below. Let's get into the haul. I got a bunch of these mini gourds and they're just really affordable at Trader Joe's and I wanted them really inexpensive like a dollar or two dollars then I got some tomatoes I always get tomatoes when I go to the grocery store I put them in my salads and I snack on them yeah I like the grape variety the cherry do people call them grape tomatoes I always call them cherry tomatoes I'm trying to get like the boring out of the way I got some bananas which I'm going to hopefully turn into some banana pumpkin bread follow my food Instagram if you want to see more than that. I got some Honeycrisp apples because they're my absolute favorite and Trader Joe's right now is like, I don't know where they're getting their apples from, but compared to my head. Also thinking about doing like a twist on like an apple crumble or something. So again, if you want to follow my food Instagram, I mean, I'm not like telling you you have to, but it's gonna be just like baking stuff because I went shopping for a few recipes I'm planning. Some almond flour. Trader Joe's is affordable, so I like to buy these things there. I got avocados, and lately I've been liking the mini ones because I'll leave like one out, one in the fridge. If they seem like they're about to go bad, I'll go ahead and toss them in the, in the freezer, and you can always throw these in smoothie. It makes them like creamy or um, nice cream. Like if you did like bananas and avocado, you get a really smooth consistency. I always get their creamy unsalted peanut butter because the only ingredients is dry roasted peanuts. I also love Target's brand of this. I don't like Whole Foods, so that's my take on peanut butter. Shut up. Um, I got a big thing of their organic pea protein powder, and the only reason why I get this specifically at Trader Joe's is because it's so inexpensive. This whole thing is either $13 or $14. Protein powders are like between $25 and $30. So I love getting my protein from Trader Joe's. It's also pretty clean ingredients. The sugar in it is coconut palm sugar and they also have an unsweetened version. I just, I love the vanilla. So how much sugar is in this? Only five grams. Okay. That makes me feel a little better. This thing is also massive. So they also have other varieties of protein too, like hemp and soy, and they probably have whey protein. Then again, for some recipe, I got some coconut cream and organic pumpkin. I got a squash. This is what really inspired me to call this like a fall Trader Joe's haul because I would probably never buy this if it wasn't this time of year. But I'm gonna try to roast this and see how I like it. I don't actually know. I'm gonna have to do some research on the internet. But yeah, it's almost October, people. Roasted cacao nibs. They're just really inexpensive at Trader Joe's. This was like so one of those things that you walk by and you're just like, yeah, I'll just like add that to my cart. This is also fall related, so look at me go. I got a pumpkin spice RX bar. I got a apple cinnamon RX bar, which I'm actually excited to try. And then a regular chocolate sea salt, which is my favorite flavor. Now, I was doing plant-based forever and I love plant-based, but I was feeling like really fatigued out here in New York for some reason. So I started to incorporate eggs into my diet. I never labeled my diet, so yeah, I'm not, I never was vegan. I'm still not vegan and I'm eating egg white. And I got ground nutmeg and pumpkin spice. Can you focus on this? So many recipes coming with, or that was obnoxiously loud. So many recipes coming with this and then nutmeg is also just another good one to have for fall recipes. Last but not least, I got honey. I got the multi-floral and clover honey because I don't know what the differences are. This calls me. Checking in, I really appreciate it. Hello, oh, my own voice is so annoying. And my cookies are done. There really truly is nothing like a chocolate chip cookie. Okay, so. 
my haul is over. Other of my favorite fall things that are at Trader Joe's that I have tried in the past and I will probably be picking up in a future haul. Things that I want to try. Pumpkin spice tea um, looks really good. There's a harvest spice trail mix and I love Trader Joe's trail mix so I will probably pick that up in the future. The pumpkin spice granola bark which is like pumpkin spice granola and then there's some dark chocolate which I haven't read the ingredients but if they're clean, that sounds like such a good fall treat. Pumpkin cranberry crisps, which are just like a cracker. And then I have tried their pumpkin bread and muffin mix. It's amazing. All you need is eggs, water, and oil. And then last but not least is the pumpkin o cereal, which I don't know if I talked about it last year or not, but I freaking love that cereal. That is my completed Trader Joe's haul. I hope you guys like this video and got some ideas for your grocery shopping and are getting excited about fall like me. I'm gonna go eat my other cookie because I made two for myself. So yeah, see you guys in my next video. Yeah, this one has more chocolate chips, so I'm kind of-